wish you could see what I'm seeing right now. It's very pretty. Anyway, let's go up. Back to where we left off. Can y'all hear this? I hope so. Oy. All right, we are back where we left off. Honestly, I'm kind of a fucking silly goose for taking the waterfall because you can't really hear dick through this microphone. Shout out to the Sam Sulek microphone. Thanks for getting me on the wave. The whole premise of this video is I don't really know anything about bushcraft or um, survival. I'm decent at hiking, but hiking really ain't shit. Anyone can hike, except for, I guess, a war veteran. Anyone missing a leg. So, actually, you know what? I take it back. Not anyone can hike. What a gift, what an honor, what a blessing. Anywho, I would like to learn how to make a fire because I reckon that's one of the first things you should learn when it comes to survival skills. And maybe in the future, maybe later on, I'll do like learning how to make a shelter. I don't know. Learning how to make snares, shit like that. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm technically not doing it like the 100% old fashioned way where you have that like stick. I've got a, a fucking flint steel that I'm going to use. So yeah. Hopefully you can hear this. Hopefully I'm not just wasting my time. Actually no, either way it's not a waste of time because I guess I'm still learning a valuable skill even if I can't make a video out of it. So, I'm cool with that. Anyway, let's. Let's get started. Wouldn't that be funny if today's video was a failure and I wasn't able to start a fire? Actually, I guess that's okay. That's what learning's all about. Oh, there's the camera over there. Anyway, what I'm looking for right now is some dry dead wood over on this side. Oh, he can't hear me, actually. Yep. Yep. That was embarrassing. So dry dead wood. Let's see if we have any over here. Some uh, Clay Hayes mentioned is wood that's been standing so like a, a thin dead tree is probably best because it wasn't laying down so it wasn't getting as much rain. And I don't know if I explained that properly. Hopefully I did. This looks pretty good and dead. It ain't standing. There's a dead one over there. I don't know if it serves any purpose to this uh, little habitat shit that might be dry something worth keeping <clears throat> now nah, I want something that can also be a feather stick I don't really want to chop down a tree even if it's dead for the purpose of this video so now you could call that a cop out. Ah, shit, that ain't even a stick. I might have to. <sighs> ah. What about this bitch right here? Reasonably dry up top here. I see no reason why I shouldn't take this. bit wet down there hopefully it ain't too wet at the top where I found it 
Shout out to dad for letting me use his saw and his hatchet. I don't have these. I did not buy these tools on my own. I'm still but a baby. I believe the first step is I don't actually know. Fuck, I should have watched the videos again before I came. Hopefully I don't start no fire. I reckon we're supposed to get the bark off. The guy in like Bushcraft Survival or whatever his name is says the good stuff is how shall I say this on the inside of the tree or of the branch and by good stuff we mean the dry what we want still a bit wet on the outside not terribly wet thank Christ that would suck for me not for you Actually, I guess for you too, because you probably want to see me make a fire. That would be a bummer if I made this video and just didn't get a fire started. Either way. Actually, you know what? It would be a bummer, but it wouldn't bother me all too bad, because if I can't get a fire started, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. I had fun out in the woods. Oh, does my hair look weird? That's okay. You know what? This bitch might be still too wet. That's a bummer. But yeah, so I want this to be my feather skin. So far, not looking too promising. Might have to use my other knife. Is there another tool in here that might help? No. Here's all we got. Perhaps I'll saw this part off. Wow, this looks like the bushcraft version of jerking off. I'm getting shit done like this. Fuck, this is really embarrassing for me. Alright. But yeah, my first time trying to make a fire on my own with just the flint and steel was, I believe, grad camping. So grad camping is, uh, oh shit, did I get it wet? It's basically um, what you do right after. I, that's pretty self-explanatory. Why am I even explaining grad camping? It was grad camping. I had just graduated from high school, my friends, and we all went down to some campground out in BC. And our time at the campground had ended. All my friends had flooded out because they all had cars back then. I did not, so I was just waiting for my dad to come pick me up after work. And I was just there on my own, and I had some uh, KFC, ducky fried chicken in the cooler, that I wanted to heat up. Nowhere to heat it up. So I had a flint and steel and a little fireplace in our camp spot. And I tried to, or I decided to sit down, gather some moss. Keep in mind it was dry, so the materials were much easier to come by. It was dry, I got some little twigs, little kindling, made a little bed of that, put the shavings from the um, flint and steel into it, 
and I managed to get it going for about 30 seconds. I got to heat my chicken for 30 seconds before it went away. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I blew it too hard, paused. Maybe I um, paused. Maybe I didn't have enough materials gathered to like keep it going. Not quite sure. Either way, hoping I can, how shall I say, right that wrong today, if you will. And also just the point of this is, if I want to start going on more adventures and shit, I'm going to need to know how to carry myself. Ah, I reckon I can use those shavings, actually. I didn't even think about that. That's cool. So, yeah. That's basically just what the whole point of this is. Nothing fancy. Plus, I'm having fun. It is nice. It's a beautiful day. I consider not coming up. That would have been the third time in a row, or third week in a row where I uh, chickened out. And you know what, that's on me. Last time, the last couple times was just because life got in the way, but if we're being completely honest with each other, I bitched out. So, I'm happy I came today, even if I was reluctant to do so. Been putting this off for a while. Now, I wonder if I should be doing it like that. It'd be better for me to go left hand. Okay, okay. Let's see how they do this. Is that wet? Might still be wet. Ah, there we go, we're getting somewhere. Yep. Shit. God damn it, I'm butchering this. Holy shit, that took way too long. This might not be safe, but...
So while I wait for my moss and my um, my little loggies, my little logs that I made to dry out, they're still a bit wet. Hopefully, with enough time, the sun can dry them. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But maybe over time it'll work. And yeah. So for now, I'm just gonna get back to my whittling. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I reckon... I keep saying I reckon. I'm not even country like that. That's what happens when you listen to Jelly Roll fucking once. Um, I think... I should have respected the art of making a feather stick more, or at least done more to learn about it before actually coming up here, because I don't really know how the fuck it works. Or how they get it, the shavings to be so smooth. Maybe you need a proper knife for it. Not quite sure. I'm hoping what I'm working with right now is good enough, and I just have to get used to it. I've got quite a few shavings that I'm saving up, so that should be good. But yeah, I don't know. I've really been enjoying this actually while the camera was off. This has been very nice it's so beautiful that I could not have picked a better day maybe it wasn't like the best day to depict on video how wet the wood is pause actually no that isn't a pause my bad but I don't know it's so nice let me show you real quick let's take a break from this whittling shit Have a look at, can you see down there? Very beautiful. Sun is out. It's fucking amazing. Not bad. Goddamn waterfall. Nothing to it, but yeah. I'm close to graduating. I'm excited for what's to come. I reckon I'm still a young, naive boy who romanticizes the reality of life and maybe one day it'll hit me how tough it is out there, but for now I'm just enjoying it. That's why I got time to come up here and learn shit like this. I gotta give my respect to anyone who does this regularly. This shit is not easy. I saw it like two, two tiny logs. Took the breath out of me. And I've been doing it my, well, I haven't been doing it my whole life, but I've been like, I saw every now and then, I'll dabble in some sawing, but I don't know. Walking all the way up a fucking mountain through a waterfall must have taken it out of me. I guess I didn't eat anything. I, I got right back to work after I ate something. But yeah. Anyone who can start a fire with ease or regularly using just a flint and steel has my respect because this shit ain't easy and if you mess it up you kind of got to start all over again because you burned your shit maybe not all over again but speaking of sam sullick mike i have to hit arms later maybe i'll bitch out and skip it and do it tomorrow but my arms are in sore need of some work. That's all I'll say on that. Ah, shit, tomorrow's supposed to be legs. I don't want to miss legs. Maybe I'll push everything back a day. That seems to be the move. I'll be honest though, I reckon this is, fuck, I can't, okay. I reckon this is something I, that can be rushed. 
Like I'm not going to be able to change how quickly the wood dries. Unless I guess I chop it smaller, but I've already chopped it like fairly small. Is my technique on feathering wrong? I think I'm gonna give up on the feather stick idea and just use fucking shavings. I don't know if that's adjacent to using a feather stick, just using shavings, but not technically on the stick. But I ain't built like that. Ah. One day I'll get good at the feather stick, maybe. As I delve more into making fires and shit. You know what would be a bummer? If I started a fucking forest fire? That would suck real bad. I reckon it's too wet for the fire to spread, but I'm gonna be very careful about this. Maybe I'll wet all the area around, I'm not sure. I'm sure as shit I'm gonna make sure that I douse the fire that I need. I do, I do not want this going to ride. It's one of my favorite places to be, that would suck. Also, other people fucking use it, and there's animals too. Can you imagine if I set this place on flame, on a blaze? Man, that would suck. It doesn't even take that much to start a part forest fire neither, man. One rogue ember is all it takes. But, uh, yeah, I guess ember. I think that's pretty much all the effort I want to put in for the day, so. Let's see. hat here. He's already dead. I'm using your hat. Well, it's kind of my hat now. I've been using it for years. It is my favorite hat, so shout out to dad. Shout out to all your dads. If you don't have a dad, shout out to both your mom. Actually, you know, shout out to the moms too. Shout out to dads and moms. If you don't have a dad or a mom, Hopefully you can be a good one to some kid someday. Write that wrong. Well, actually, everyone has a dad and a mom, but... Okay, shout out to all the good moms and dads. That's better. I'll leave it at that. Actually, no, I won't. You don't have a good mom and dad? I'm sorry. Hopefully you can be a good mom or dad one day. Boy, I wouldn't know nothing about that though. I'm a spoiled little brat. All right. Hoping I didn't rush this too much. We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. I got some sticks that I believe have dried enough. My little pile here. Ah, shit, that might not be dry enough now that I think about it. Only one way to find out. get some of the uh, the shavings into here I want to have these two ready I want to have this stuff I'm hoping it helps Maybe that should be on the bed. I'm not sure, actually. Ah! Get a good look at my grungle. 
while I sit here and spread eagle in front of you. Oh. Oh. Come on. Please. Please. I want to get this done so I can catch the fucking bus home. Oy. Fuck, come on, please. Good shavings in there. Good shavings. According to Clay Hayes, it'll make it burn hotter or quicker. I'm not quite sure which one. But at least it'll burn. All right, and now. Oh, come on. Please. What am I doing wrong? Oh, come on. Please just stay. Maybe. Oh, ah. Fuck. Whoa, come on. Ah, fuck. This shit's so hard. How do the people on alone do it? And I underestimated how tough this shit is. This shit's so hard. Okay, three.
Oh, no, fuck. Please. Seems I've failed. That's okay. Guess I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but that's all right. I'll be back up next time. I'll learn. I don't know. That's okay. It ended up still being a beautiful day, and I'm glad I got out. It was nice. But yeah, I guess just, if y'all have any tips, I guess just drop them, leave them in the comments. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I, I figure anything helps. Yeah. Maybe it was too windy. Maybe I didn't have enough uh, shavings, kindling. Maybe I didn't have enough steel shavings. It's all right. It is what it is. That's just part of it. Next time we'll have a better go. Maybe higher up. I don't actually know. I don't think I'm high enough up for the air to be a, an issue. But yeah. Maybe because it's moist around here because of the fucking waterfall. Who knows? I'll try again next time. Bye-bye.